Well, in this week's cardiology news, we have a new biomarker uh, and two observational studies that look at ICD and outcomes and also of early mitral surgery uh, for flail mitral valve. So to begin with, we have a paper in Jack Intervention that looks at a novel inflammatory biomarker, Pentraxin-3. Now this is in the same family as CRP, but a different marker, and was correlated with uh, IVIS and, and uh, optical uh, coherence tomography in uh, 75 patients, half of whom were found to have thin cap fibroatheromas. Those, as we know, are the, are the plaques most likely to rupture. And so Pentraxin-3 was found to have a three-fold odds ratio uh, to predict presence of a TICFA. Um, and this was stronger than CRP that also did predict that presence, but uh, it seemed a little bit stronger with this novel biomarker. It's just a first look, but I think one that uh, shows great promise, and we'll have to keep our eye on Pentraxin-3. Next, we have a, a study from the NCDR ICD registry uh, that looked at a large uh, number of patients, um, I believe uh, tens of thousands, uh, that had ICD um, defibrillators placed and looked at presence of left bundle branch block or not and the QRS duration of between 120 to 150 or greater than 150 milliseconds. And interestingly, uh, the group that had the lowest one and three year mortality was the patients with left bundle branch block and prolonged uh, QRS duration of greater than 150. Um, then the other groups were, were intermediate. And this, of course, would suggest great benefit of receiving um, cardiac resynchronization therapy in that group with left bundle and the prolonged QRS duration, as has been seen in the randomized trials. And so there's no control group here, and it's simply outcomes, but I think supportive data noting that great benefits are seen in left bundle and prolonged QRS duration greater than 150. And uh, this week's uh, topic looks at a uh, topic of timing of mitral valve surgery in patients who have a flail mitral leaflet. And this analysis looked at about 2,000 patients in a mitral valve registry who either had surgery within three months of diagnosis or were managed medically. Um, ultimately, that group managed medically. Uh, initially, 60% um, had surgery about a year and a half later. So it's early intervention versus uh, later intervention or medical management. And they had 10-year outcomes uh, that showed improved survival with the early mitral valve surgery, 86% uh, survival versus 69%. And this then held up after multivariate adjustment. And this is in a group of patients that didn't have LD, LV dysfunction or symptoms of heart failure, and so without the other indications for surgery, uh, simply mitral regurg and the flailed leaflet. And so intriguing data to say perhaps there's an additional group that uh, early surgery may be indicated. So for this week's uh, Cardiosaurus News, I'm Chris Cannon.